Welcome to the Web 2.0 Mapping and Social Networks Meetup Group Podcast. I'm Katherine Burton, owner of Endpoint Environmental and lead organizer of the Web 2.0 Mapping and Social Networks Meetup Group. Our meetup is about sharing, teaching, learning, and networking around current and future geospatial and social networking applications and technology. We meet on the third Tuesday evening of every month at Google headquarters in Mountain View, California. I'll be hosting this monthly podcast series, which is generously sponsored by Directions Magazine and produced by Endpoint Environmental and Back 5 Productions. This podcast features Rico Simpkins, online community development manager for REI Outfitters. Rico will share with us some cool information about REI's new user-generated maps campaign. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the show. REI stands for Recreational Equipment Incorporated. We're a, a co-op. We were founded in 1938 uh, by a fellow named uh, Lloyd Anderson and his wife Mary. Uh, and he founded the company because um, he paid too much for an ice axe and it made him really, really angry. And so he uh, got together with uh, 30 or 40 of his friends and, and bought 30 or 40 ice axes from Europe, had them shipped over. And then um, uh, they had charged themselves regular retail price. And when the uh, axes came over at the discounted uh, price, they took all of the profit that was left over and they split it up among themselves. We do it that way still today. We, um, uh, we are completely member owned. We're still a consumer cooperative. So we don't have stockholders. We really think long term. Uh, and um, our profits, I think uh, last year, 85% of our profits went uh, straight back to the members and the rest just went into uh, investing into the co-op. So we've been doing it this way for uh, since 1938 and it works really well for us. Um, uh, but in 1938 there wasn't an internet and uh, we've been operating um, that way for a long time. Um, we have a, a, um, we do have a website that's been very commercially successful. Uh, we're now um, we're projected to do about a billion and a half uh, this year um, as a co-op, and a big chunk of that is um, increasingly more and more of that is happening um, on the internet. And so uh, we have communities everywhere. We have uh, 99 stores right now, so we're about to open our hundredth. And um, and every single one of those communities we have uh, we have. Uh, Lots and lots of people coming to RAI and establishing sort of a cultural community in the stores. And they're just begging to have that same kind of community um, out there in the world. Um, our marketing department came up with this concept um, uh, for uh, online community, which is, uh, that's my job is to develop an online community for RAI. Um, uh, nobody knew what that was going to look like when they asked me to take this job. And uh, now uh, we, the ideas that are brewing in our head is uh, what community might look like are very different than what I was hired in to create. So I, I think they thought that we were going to end up having sort of a MySpace, you know, on RAI where everyone has uh, user profiles and that they all talk to each other. And we realized, wow, there's, you know, a lot of sites like that and uh, the world doesn't need any more of them. Uh, but what we did realize is that there is something unique about our user base and that is they really um, aren't really interested uh, in uh, sharing user profiles, what they're interested in is finding out where they need to go uh, for their vacations. And that's sort of the theme now for uh, online community. Uh, uh, love in the outdoors, which is what we've always done, uh, and sharing the love in a kind of new way. Um, and this is the first time I have uh, sort of ever seen a, a strategy statement that has the word love uh, at all, let alone twice. Uh, that's uh, two out of the six words are love. So that's, uh, that's a pretty strong statement. Of course, two of the words are the. <laughs> so our program mission um, is pretty simple as well. So um, we've just uh, came up with this in the last week. Uh, and that is, uh, we've really sort of filtered it down and it got really complex. And we finally decided at the end, really our mission is to deliver content and features that connect people to our co-op, to who we are, uh, inspire uh, passionate and lasting participation outdoors. Now that doesn't really sound like um, a, com a, a computer and internet driven mission. In fact, um, what's kind of unusual about the community that we're trying to build is that we're really building an online community that's designed to get people offline. Right? So the last thing we want is is to create a virtual forest that people can hike in virtually and they can buy little <laughs> digital backpacks, right? Um, that's really sort of a horror story for us. In fact, um, in fact, 
uh, you know, um, technology is changing so fast that um, our CEO, um, Sally Jewell, is uh, relatively famous for saying uh, that we don't consider other people in the outdoors to be competition to our co-op, that we all consider them to be strategic allies and getting people outside. Our competition is video games, television, basically the couch. Um, and so to create an online community that gets people behind a computer, initially that really sort of makes us really scared to build an online community. And so that's one of the reasons um, why I think there, uh, it took so long for us to finally get it, that no, we really do need to be involved in this. And we should have done it in 1996. Uh, but we didn't. We we wrote a uh, we created a website instead uh, that was very transactional and it's made a lot of money for us. But it hasn't served our community uh, in, in any interactive way. It hasn't given them any sort of ability to sort of influence the co-op. Uh, and so that's that's one of the things that we're changing. So um, so. Um, Customer research that we did early in the year as we were trying to build this strategy told us that 62% um, of, uh, uh, of the responders to our uh, surveys said that they want expert advice, uh, which is something that is um, very true in the stores as well. When people come into the stores, they're looking for products, but they also want to know a lot about uh, the products that they're buying and the places that they're going. Uh, they're looking for expert advice. Uh, the, the second highest response was that they wanted to post photos. And they wanted those uh, photos to be posted in the context of where to go. In fact, they want everything that they do to be uh, posted in the context of where to go. Um, and so that tells you, uh, that started giving us a clue right away as to what direction our strategy should be in. Um, guidance on where to go became probably the, the, the first thing that popped in our head in terms of uh, what our focus should be. So we created these uh, really complex roadmaps and system flows, and um, I'm not going to talk about them today because uh, you probably know more about these types of things than I do. So we're going to go right past that and into, um, these are some of the people that we've been partnering with. and We've really talked to about, I'd say, at least 30 or 40 uh, major participants uh, in a variety of technologies. These are some of the ones that we're very excited uh, about. We've developed a, a pretty good relationship uh, with Google, and they came to campus, and they talked to us all about uh, the products that they have. Um, a lot of book publishers, uh, Falcon, for instance, and, and Mountaineer, book, book publishers will create books like uh, 101 Best Places to Hike in um, the Bay Area, something like that. Um, are very interested in sharing that data with us. Uh, we don't know, didn't know at the time exactly how we would display that data. We thought we would just do them in lists, which of course you guys would find very archaic. Uh, but that's a that was some of one of our earliest um, thoughts. Uh, National Geographic uh, has. Uh, really just been fantastic about educating us on where their technology is. They have maps that go way back uh, way back to the 19th century. They've been in business collecting this data for so long. And really their technology <coughs> products are based not on uh, satellite imagery and all, all of the excellent sort of new vector-based mapping that's been going on in the last 10, 20 years. Um, what's great about them is their mapping technologies are still the, 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 the maps that they've been collecting ever since, I think, the 1890s when they started. And so um, that's why their, their Topo product, if you guys have ever dealt with the Topo product, one of the reasons why it's so great and so highly printable is it's really just scans of physical maps that they've been making forever and ever and ever. Um, and it's a, just a really great product, and they're working with this as well. ESRI, uh, I'm sure you guys know, they, they provide something like 85% of uh, the mapping data for municipalities across the country. And um, we're interested in working with anybody who has content uh, or data to share, and I'll tell you in just a minute how we uh, want to do that. Um, but first, we had some challenges. Uh, the earliest challenge uh, had to do with our legal department. So uh, anytime uh, you uh, launch a, a new venture of any kind, there's a lot of legal vetting that goes on uh, in large companies. And it really has to do uh, with uh, uh, risks, legal risks, versus representational risks. Um, and we are also considered, you know, small, uh, smaller issues that are still significant. Wage and hour issues, what happens if somebody logs on to our site who works for us and adds data to the site? Should we pay them? If we don't pay them, what, you know, what's wrong if we do pay them? Does it mean that they represented us when they put it up there and now we're liable for anything they say? A lot of issues that we had to get through. Uh, but the risk versus reputation was probably the single uh, largest hurdle to get through, and I think we have a good solid strategy. But that is 